Hello everyone, welcome back. <coughs> See, now the code looks a bit cleaner. Okay, so there was no mistake. In fact, a lot of dropping and undropping of the variables. But guys, you know what? I have, I'm going to anyways give this code to you in the resource section. You can have it. Now see this. Let me run this and show you what's the usage of this MIME part. Run as flow service. Okay. I'm going to run it right now. Okay. See now you have only one variable. Mail was unsuccessful. We'll go back here to our Yandex and we'll check. Refresh, refresh. See. Guys, did you see one thing? See here. I'm getting the HTML. I'm getting the JPEG file. I'm getting some PDF file. Now tell me, is this or is this not cool? Now, guys, did you understand how, why we are building this MIME? I can send anything as an attachment, email, text, anything. See here. Now what have I done? Let's now understand and come to a conclusion how things are working up. Okay, piling up. See, I have, let me expand 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 uh, okay that's enough see I have three sections one HTML the one that we have seen then other one is JPEG file other one is the PDF file okay right okay so now what first we are creating an empty object cool then we are creating empty MIME header, which is an op optional. Okay. This is application specific, but again, it's an optional. Okay. Even if this is not required, it's fine. Then we are converting. What are we doing? Okay. So I have to actually add this guy here actually. All right. So what are we doing here? The first step is that for the HTML part, we are converting the string to stream. And after that, we are adding it that particular this input stream see this input stream whatever input stream we are we created we have adding it to the to the mime data now at this stage at here at this stage mime contains the html which you saw the i am too big and all those stuff okay cool now what's the next step next step is that i am getting fetching a file from one of my temporary location uh, this is my location and i'm fetching some windows file uh, a jpeg file and i'm loading it as stream see jpeg stream now again i'm adding that stream jpeg stream to my mime data now at this stage at this stage the mime data contains html plus jpeg file okay now in a similar way i'm getting a pdf file and see here P i'm converting that into stream and i'm i'm adding this to the body part see again i'm adding it to the mime data now at this stage mime contains html plus uh, pdf plus jpeg now remember one thing at each stage i have to give the content type see for this body part my content type is remember application slash pdf and i have to give some name audit logging dot pdf i've given this name that's the reason in that email you saw as audit logging okay you saw as audit logging see here see audit logging the name the name this name this particular name is coming from the name that i've given there okay so this name in a similar way for even add body part i've given the content type see okay now here as well I have not given anything because it is text slash HTML. Now in a similar way, let me create another one and I will just send a plain file. Let us see. No attachment, nothing. Okay. Just string to stream. I'll just copy this string to stream. Okay. And string to stream. I'm going to string to stream and here I'm just going to say this is my plain text file okay 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 and again I'm you can give it as you can just as a plain stream plain stream 
okay plain string drop it okay now here i'm going to give the comment as just converting plain text to string okay and then i am going to add this plain text stream here to the content and this i am anyways mapping it here okay and i am going to drop this cool now here content type is text slash plain okay now here i am going to change it just a plain text just a plain text okay now let me delete this guy okay now let's run it okay mail was sent successful refresh 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 oh come on okay good see here this is my plain text this is mime okay we will look at the definition of what is mime and other things in the next video but i hope you guys understood what we are trying to achieve add mime data so here this name is just a plain text plain text you can find this code in the resource section but this is what we have done and even this is irrelevant at this stage but it's it's anyways it's it's there it's there okay so yeah that's about it this in this tutorial and that concludes the mime part of the code and we look at the theory in the next tutorial thank you